some of the stories that you may have missed while you were offline. CBS and AM. Stream free weekdays on CBS and. Hello, everyone. Really good to see you again. I'm Anne Marie Green. Of course, I'm with Vladimir Dutier. Vlad, you know, at the top of the agenda today is going to be this um, COVID relief bill. Uh, it was passed in the House. Now we need the president to sign it. And there are a lot of kind of interesting bits and pieces in it. But I think one that a lot of people will find interesting is this child tax credit that they're saying, you know, could lift millions of children out of poverty. But I think even as important of a conversation is the impact that it will have on women, because we know that the, fall, the financial fallout of this pandemic has had a disproportional impact, disproportional impact on women. I, I mean, some people are calling it a she session, right? So we're going to talk about that a little bit later on, um, about hopefully how this will maybe change things for women as well. But you've got some more details about this whole package. I do, including the one tiny detail about your camera changing colors. If our viewers uh, may think that they're going colorblind oh, yeah. or that their <laughs> eyes are messed up, it's not you, it's us. <laughs> Actually, look at that. Look at <laughs> You're <me>. now purple. <laughs> you look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Remember the Oompa Loompas? <laughs> That's what you That's look hilarious. like. That's <laughs> hilarious. Um, yeah. So just so our do, do not adjust your. Yeah. What was the old like in the 1950s? Don't no. adjust your dial. <laughs> it's not, it's just Maybe a technical I difficulty. I shouldn't have had that 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 leftover those leftovers that I found at the back of the fridge for yes. breakfast. Too much five hour <laughs> energy, Anne Marie. Ease back on that. Um, so you're absolutely right. We we are going to dig into the details of this $1.9 trillion COVID relief package that is, you know, passing with partisan support. Democrats obviously all voted for it. Zero Republicans are in favor. But what I find, and I keep saying this uh, every day that we talk about this, what I find interesting is our polling suggests that Democrats and Republicans, Americans, are in support of this. Um, and when you hear yeah. that people who now will receive unemployment benefits for another six months, months, people who are struggling financially. You know what? It doesn't matter how they vote at the polls. It only matters that they're going to be able to feed their families, pay their rent, pay their insurance. That's important. And so we now understand, because the president is soon set to sign this, that millions of Americans will receive that much-needed financial aid. And President Biden is gearing up to sign this relief bill tomorrow. This all comes after weeks of urging from Congress to pass this nearly $2 trillion plan. The president says it will help alleviate nationwide poverty through new stimulus checks, a child tax credit increase, and the extension of unemployment benefits. As we've said, zero Republicans voted for the bill. They argue that it is wasteful. They argue that it includes measures that have nothing to do with the pandemic. But here's the thing. Look at this number. Look at this poll. A majority of Americans appear to disagree with the Republican Party. 75% approve of Congress passing the bill, including nearly half of all Republicans. Ed O'Keefe has a closer look. We say to America,